Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the most sacred of days, Saturday. The day we collectively celebrate the sweet taste of freedom after a long week of work. It's like a mini vacation for our souls. And I'm here to talk about what it truly means to be free on a Saturday. Whilst also showing some love and empathy for those poor souls who are working today. Now, imagine waking up on a Saturday morning and there's no blaring alarm clock to jolt you out of your bed. No boss demanding reports or customers breathing down your neck. It's just you and the soft embrace of your cozy bed. That, my friends, is the first glorious taste of a Saturday's freedom. You roll out of bed whenever you darn well please to, because time is but a suggestion on Saturdays. Your attire, pajamas, or maybe even that ancient faded t-shirt you can't wear to the office. No judgment here. The best part, you get to decide your agenda. Want to binge watch your favorite TV series? Go for it. Craving pancakes at 2 p.m.? Whip them up. Want to spend the entire day perfecting your amateur bird watching skills? Grab those binoculars. But here's where the empathy comes in. As we revel in our Saturday liberation, let's take a moment to salute the unsung heroes out there. The folks who are working today. They might be nurses, firefighters, police officers, or the retail workers keeping the stores open. They're out there, missing out on the Saturday shenanigans we hold so dear. So, if you encounter someone who's working today, give them an extra smile, a nod of appreciation, and maybe even a cup of coffee. They're the real MVPs keeping our world running, even on a Saturday. In conclusion, my fellow Saturday enthusiasts, relish each and every moment of this glorious day. Be free to do whatever your heart desires. But don't forget to share a bit of that Saturday love with those who are clocking in. After all, Saturday is about freedom. And that includes the freedom to spread a little kindness too. Enjoy your weekend, everyone.